It's 847 in the morning, 13 away from the top of the hour, and it's Indiana in the morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. Would you like me to take that down? She's Facebooking this live, huh, ladies? Yep. All right, there you go. Life Steps, a vintage affair is coming up. Katie Seacrest and Jackie Overdorf with us in the studio this morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. It's good to have you both with us here today. So you're Facebooking live. This is exciting stuff. (laughs) Exciting stuff. And Katie, you're dressed. I love that. That's nice. That's right. Jackie, you look lovely too. Well, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, tell me about, I assume that uh, your dress today has something to do with the With the event for Life Steps, what is it? Yep, um, it's Vintage Affair. Uh, it's over at Benjamin's on June 11th, uh, two to four. It's a vintage tea, um, and we just have light refreshments. It's basket raffles. We have mystery boxes, um, and it's all framed around this year's theme, which is vintage photography. Vintage photography. Yeah, so we're gonna have two great photographers um, taking photos, and then we're gonna have lots of photo spots, photo booth areas. Mm-hmm. To take lots and lots of photos. Oh, it sounds like a lot of fun. Now, who can come? Uh, anyone. Anyone can come. It's mostly geared towards women, but mm-hmm. anyone can come. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And obviously the goal is to raise funds for what Life Steps does here in Indiana County, yes? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and it's the Child Check Program. Uh, it's uh, developmental and autism screenings for children birth to age five. Mm-hmm. And also our Family Care Mobile Resource Center, which is just getting painted right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. it's getting updated. Jackie, I'm not going to let you just sit there silently. That's okay. Because you don't look like the silent type. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they so, always say they hear me coming. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> uh, so so tell me about it a little bit. What's what's your role in this? Sure. Vintage Affair, I'm not employed by Life Steps, but I've always been a big supporter of the event. I was asked to be on the committee on its very first event about nine years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's always been a lot of fun to uh, come up with the unique ideas of vintage. Mm -hmm. We've done the vintage wedding gowns, the vintage bathing suits, the uh, hairstyles. That was a lot of fun. Uh, We've done um, this uh, vintage music. So we've always had, you know, a good time doing that and bringing in and collecting all the old vintage things and that's what will be on display for everybody to mm-hmm. to take a look at so vintage photography this time huh mm-hmm. so what are some of the things we're going to see uh we have lots of old cameras um i know i'm taking some of my dad's and cassandra uh, my boss has a lot mm-hmm. and then uh jackie said she has a very uh, old and large video camera that we're going to have out on display oh, yeah. and then um definitely some old photos framed around the area yeah Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of reminiscing going on. A lot of people peering into things just to see how it used to be. Yeah. yeah. And I would guess that at these events, um, when younger women come and they see vintage dresses, vintage whatever it is, uh, all those many things that you mentioned, Jackie, that uh, sometimes they're amazed because we're such a technological world today and everything fits in the palm of your hand. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't always used to be that way, did it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, some of those old cameras are really, really big. Yeah, and they're heavy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the idea of film, rolling film. You know, I remember taking the photography classes at IUP, and, and when you were done with the roll of film, you had to put the little crank up and turn it in order to roll the film back into the canister, and you were never sure, did I get it all back in there, or am I going to ruin a shot or two <laughs> by opening up the back of the camera? But it's different that way. Okay, so Life Steps, give us the, the where's and the when's again, and uh, we need to know uh, reservations or, or right. how people can... Um, they can RSVP by calling uh, the office number, which is 724-349-1122, mm-hmm. extension 106, and they'll reach me. Or they can also buy tickets online by going to lifesteps.net. Uh, tickets are 25 for adults, uh, 15 for... Um, 15 for children 5 to 10, and okay. free for children under 5. Okay. And then it's at Benjamin's mm-hmm. uh, Restaurant right down in downtown Indiana, uh, June 11th from 2 to 4. June 11th, 2 to yeah. 4. Is that a Sunday? Yes, it is. Sunday. Sunday. I, I, think, yeah. I, re- I remember. Yeah, we always do it on a Sunday. Yeah, that they were always on Sundays. And it's interesting, though, the prices for the little littler ones, uh, that really talks about the fact that uh, Life Steps has a, a real heart for children. Yeah, and we also have a kids' craft. Um, so, you know, they, even if you have the little kids, you'll, you're going to have something for them to do, too. Mm-hmm. It's not just for the adults. 
Absolutely. So Life Steps as a whole and uh, the reason that uh, you both are so involved in Life Steps. So let's talk about that a, a little bit. Uh, it's always been in Indiana County, of course, under the name Easter Seals many years ago, but then it became Life Steps in association with some other counties, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, and it's a part of the United Way uh, of Indiana County mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Uh, and um, give, me a, give me an idea again. Yeah, the autism checks, mm-hmm. the child check, uh, all of those. How do those happen? How do people get involved in some of Life Step services? Uh, well, if uh, you can call in to our uh, child check person um, to arrange a screening, mm-hmm. or you can, um, if your if your child is in a nursery school or daycare, they're probably already getting screened. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, you just have to sign a paper, and we co- we go to a lot of those uh, daycares and everything. Oh, okay, um, and as far as the Family Care Mobile Resource Center, you can step right on mm-hmm. wherever it's parked. Whenever we have an event, we try to bring in as much as possible so you yeah. can just step right on. It's free to anybody. Now, with all of the preschool activities, uh, that's one way to get um, contact with the children. Um, but I would assume then that parents would um, have some sort of suspicion that there might be a problem with their child, a cognitive problem of some sort, and that's why they reach out to Life Steps? Yeah, um, if they have a concern or even if they don't, they can always just you know test because they i mean it's developmental as well as autism so even if you want to just check if they're on track Mm -hmm. you can do that as well that's a good way to do that yeah life steps has always had am am i correct in saying life steps has always had an 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 idea that um the hearing is a is a big part of what you do too am i right about that or i'm thinking of some other organization no not that's some other okay (laughs) Okay. All right, Jackie. So tell me a little bit about um, how it was that uh, they came to you. They didn't just come to you out of the blue. They said, Jackie Overdorf is someone we <laughs> need to have on this board. How did they do that? But truly, um, I forget who was the original person that was it, that um, had Katie's position mm-hmm. nine years ago or so. Um, she, We were in an organization together. Oh, okay. And she was talking about how she was coming up with this new idea mm-hmm. for a fundraiser called the Vintage Affair. And I went, that sounds really interesting. Uh-huh. I said, you know, keep me in tune. And before you know it, so you want to be on the committee? I said, sure, because <laughs> it really is. It's it's unique. Mm-hmm. And digging up all the old stuff, it really is. Yeah. I don't necessarily have all this old stuff in my house, but I appreciate looking at it. And I appreciate gathering it. And yeah. one year we even had, um, well, I think even for a couple of years, we had the Historical Society even helping us uh-huh. uh, get some uh-huh. different uh, things for that particular theme for that year which is always a lot of fun yeah i think in past years there have been hats and there have been shoes too right yeah just yeah. last year was shoes and then a few years ago it was hats yeah yeah so you have fun but there's the overall goal of raising money uh in order to continue life steps program right indiana belongs to um a chapter that includes how many other counties so i know butler ten. butler county is is where it's hubbed correct? yeah yeah and there's 10 other counties included. 10 other counties involved yep. well we're wishing for the best for this. Give the contact information again so that folks can know uh, how they can make an RSVP for this. Yeah, it's 724-349-1122, extension 106, mm-hmm. or you can buy your tickets on lifesteps.net. There you go. There you go. The dates again, or the date uh, is June 11th? Yep, June 11th, 2 to 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. All right, now you can look right at the camera and say hello hey. to everybody on <laughs> Facebook Live. <laughs> Who's watching, and uh, of course, uh, your uh, Life Steps, and nothing special in order to get to Life Steps Indiana County on Facebook, correct? Yeah, it's just lifesteps.net, or, or for Facebook. Yeah, it's yeah. just our fa- Facebook page, sorry. There you go. Very good. Can, Ladies? Can I do this? Oh, oh, there's something yeah, else? The ticket giveaway? Oh, oh yes, we forgot. I didn't forget. I just, well, okay, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to give away tickets? Yeah. For this event? Yep. Right this very minute? Right this very minute. Beautiful. What name, what do you have with us there? Okay, you're uh, gonna... yeah, we have two just two tickets for the event, uh, okay. two adult tickets or or children. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to collect names and then let you know what those names are, or you do actually the have call tickets. in? Yes. Oh, collect names. Yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the phone lines at seven two four four seven nine eleven sixty or three four nine WCCS. You have two tickets to this event. Mm-hmm. And, folks, you can call sometime between now and 10 a.m., and uh, we will make sure that your name is forwarded to the folks at Life Steps, and then they can expect you at a vintage affair 
photography is the uh, the concept this time around. There's somebody on 1160 right now, 479-1160. So there's one of our ticket winners. We'll see if we can get the other one before we're out of here at uh, 9 o'clock with the news. It's on the way. It's AM 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM.